Falcon Eye is um, a virtual Earth or Bing Maps based um, application. It allows us to browse the globe. Um, one of the major advantages is it can take uh, and consume multiple types of geospatial data. So we can plot um, police, uh, police actions. So we have um, uh, robberies in progress. We have traffic usage. So here I can tap on my traffic usage. And for the US, I can see the current routes, the current major routes, and the volumes of traffic uh, live on the map. One thing I can do is I could drill into certain areas of the US where um, we can see here the major routes with, with the traffic, with, with even traffic cameras. So I can tap on these cameras. I can bring up live footage of current road conditions. This would allow me to uh, have a look at these routes without having to sort through uh, banks of cameras. It allows me just to pan the map using natural interfaces. Another, another use maybe to plot the, plot the data coming out of incidents, um, police incidents. Okay, so here we can see geospatial uh, police data plotted on the map. It allows me to browse these, uh, browse these events, tap on them and bring up further information. The power of Windows 7 allows us to use the uh, natural user interface to browse this map without using the mouse and keyboard. Um, we found that a user can walk up to it and browse it without any training because we are taking advantage of the natural gestures that people would want to use to browse such a map. The power of Falcon Eye is that it is a common platform for multiple types of data. So we can take XML data, uh, data from web services, even local data. Uh, as long as we have some sort of geospatial um, metadata to do with that, we can plot it on the map and we can start interacting with it. So we can customize Falcon Eye to, uh, to be used in multiple verticals, um, such as law enforcement, but also say someone who's showing off condo buildings, uh, browsing the map, trying to find out different school boards, different districts, um, maybe looking at uh, different statistics in a geolocational manner. Yeah, we have that data. We have a building in Dubai, so I can pop that up, quickly pop over to Dubai here. We can see we have some buildings here on the strip. I can pan down into 3D mode and browse that strip. See the outside of these buildings, but what's neat is we can tap the building and dive into a 3D representation of it. So here I can see the, the outside of this condo building. If I move over to the apartment I'd like to show off, um, I can actually dive into it using natural gestures. And we can move through the wall of the 3D model. And now we're in the room. Someone can have a look at using these same gestures. We can browse through these 3D models. As if we were browsing a map.